Developing this morning, 16 American missionaries, one Canadian missionary, are missing in Haiti right now after being kidnapped by one of the most powerful gangs on the island. The gang, which has already kidnapped dozens of people this year, abducted the missionaries over the weekend after they were visiting an orphanage near Port-au-Prince. CNN's Kylie Atwood is live at the State Department with more on this for us this morning. Kylie, what more are you learning about this kidnapping? Well, listen, Kate, the State Department has now confirmed that there were 16 Americans who were kidnapped in Haiti over the weekend uh, by a gang there, we are told, uh, by this organization, this nonprofit Christian organization based in Ohio, that in total there were 17 people kidnapped, 16 of them Americans. Five of those were children. Uh, so this is something that, of course, we are watching extremely closely. The State Department says that they are in regular contact with Haitian authorities over this. And I was told last night by a senior administration official that the United States still doesn't know where exactly these Americans are right now. They were taken hostage when they were leaving an orphanage where they were doing work in Haiti. And of course, uh, it's important to note that hostage problems have been ongoing in Haiti for the last year. It's one of the reasons that the State Department travel advisory tells Americans do not travel uh, to Haiti. But we also know that this has been an increasing problem in recent months. There is uh, an organization in Haiti that did some research showing that there was a 300 percent increase in hostages taken just since July of this year. Kate. Kylie, thank you so much for that update. Let me bring in right now Laurent Lamoth, a former prime minister of Haiti, for more on this. Mr. Prime Minister, thank you for being here. What do you know of this gang? Well, it's been operating um, for several years. You know, it's it's a very dangerous gang, and they've they've had uh, several uh, kidnappings before, and you know, it's 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 a very complicated and difficult situation today. You know, as Kylie was kind of pointing to, gang activity and kidnappings and hostage taking in Haiti, unfortunately, seems out of control at the moment, even before this weekend and what we saw here. Would you say that is the case, that it's out of control at this moment, and why? Well, the spiral of violence has been unprecedented. Um, what's happening also in Haiti is, you know, it's a compounding effect of, you know, the United Nations uh, had a military component, a military force for over 14 years, spent over $14 billion and left in 2019, creating a, a huge security void. Basically, they trained the police and the police is at the 16,000 police officers and is not really equipped to fight off the type of gang activity, the type of gang warfare that's going on right now in Haiti. So there is a huge, there is a void for a, a military presence in Haiti, which is not the case today. And it's, it's favoring the gangs and it's favoring violence. So, I mean, you're kind of getting at it, but what is, what is needed to get this under control? I mean, bring some safety and some security to a, a nation that it is struggling with so much from natural disasters to the assassination of the president. Well, for sure. I mean, the assassination of the president left um, a legitimacy issue, so there is a political problem to be solved um, through elections. That there has to be a legitimate government to deal with with gang warfare and issues through uh, legitimacy. There is definitely, on the short term, assistance needed to the police with equipment, supplies, uh, even manpower to fight off the gangs on the short term. But on the long run, there needs to Haiti needs to reestablish uh, its military. Um, so. The, the military, the police, having a strong force uh, fighting together against this, uh, these gangs and, and also stop the deportations of criminals for a certain period of time. Because, you know, Haiti is receiving over, over 100 uh, criminals from, that are being deported from the U.S. back to Haiti, and, and the country simply cannot afford uh, to receive any more of them. And it's creating, you know, it's, it's, it's reinforcing the gangs, and it's creating, creating a very, very fragile uh, security situation, making it even worse. I, I was actually going to ask you, because if you were in your old position, you would be speaking with the Biden administration. And what would you ask of President Biden right now? You do think there is a direct link between those being deported from the United States, as we saw those dramatic pictures at the southern border, back to Haiti. You think there is a connection to these gangs? Oh, no, it's not, it's not the migrants. It's mostly the criminals, the hardened criminals okay. that serve time in U.S. jails. And that are sent back every week. There is plane full of 
of those criminals going back to Haiti. That's on top of the migrants. And what what's going to happen is the, the gangs are making the country unlivable. And when the country is unlivable, we see what we, we see the immediate effect: the migrant issues. Um, you know, uh, professionals are leaving Haiti in in in, in high, very high numbers. The brain drain is getting even worse. So what? I would ask um, President Biden, if, if I was in office today, I would, I would ask him, one, reinforce, you know, send a team down there, reinforce um, the, the Haiti National Police with supplies and equipment. That will boost the morale. And also, adjust your policy on the Haitian military. I know that the, the Haitian military has not been a model military in the past, but today's, today's situation on the ground calls for a military in Haiti, and, and, and you just have to face it. This is, this is needed right now.